r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. What was the most shocking thing you heard the quiet kid say? <laughs> Nothing. Let me explain. I took a class with Sung Hu Icho, the Virginia Tech shooter, one semester before the shooting. The class was called Contemporary Horror. It was a one-time elective offered by my favorite professor. We read horror novels and watched horror films and discussed the craft of creating scary stories but also how they reflected or represented their era's fears. It was a great class. There were only about 15 students and it was discussion heavy. Cho was one of them. I honestly never noticed him. Even in that small class, until halfway into the semester, he wasn't quiet. He was silent. So on the day we all finally noticed him. Our professor asked him something directly, and Cho just stared at him. I can't remember the question, but the nature of it meant silence was potentially an acceptable and funny response. So we all laughed, except Cho. He just kept staring at our professor. Our laughter awkwardly died. And after a few moments of uncomfortable silence, our professor just said, Ooh okay, and moved on. It was so strange. But I forgot about that weird moment until after his rampage. That professor later told me that Cho's papers had been disturbing. But the nature of our course meant the envelope was being pushed a bit. And it had never been bad enough to suggest he'd do what he did. That professor was a good man. And he admitted he struggled with not blaming himself on some level for one. Not identifying how severe Cho's mental health problems were and two, for the graphic and terrible nature of some of what we watched in that class which may have inspired Cho, he knew that was bullshit, but a part of him couldn't help but feel some blame. It was terribly sad, edit, added the second para. Well this changes the tone of the thread. We didn't know the rage of youth we didn't see the signs, we didn't look to spy the truth, or read between the lines. We didn't think to feel the threat the storm of pain and pride, the masked, misguided silhouette that crept, corrupt, inside. We didn't hear the things we should the coming, closing call but then, I wonder how we could, there were no words at all. I think this type of answers is what OP was looking for, edit. By the way, my username is about farts, not show. I was best friends with the quiet kid in middle school. It wasn't so much shocking as the stupidest thing I've heard him say. He got this thousand yard stare all of a sudden and just said I can't remember what color my dog is. I don't know why but I am crying I am laughing so hard at that. Thank you. No problem. I guess that's just where he was when the acid kicked in. Someone needs to Truman show this kid. In high school. There was this really quiet girl named Grace. She was a pleasant person, but wouldn't say anything more than hi or sorry unless you asked her something. Even then, she'd appear terrified. It was at prom, and I was in the parking lot of the venue we had prom at. I lost a contact, and had to run to my car to grab my glasses. In the parking lot, Grace was smiling and walking from her car. She looked at me, laughed, and said Ryan. Her prom date, just fingered the yuck out of me, I still laugh about it to this day. Or, I saw this comment before Krusty's, and thought maybe it'll be a heartwarming story. Nope, but it did warm up some fingers. I don't know, I'm always happy to hear about someone having a normal teenage experience without getting hurt. 72 virgins is nowhere near enough virgins for eternity, that's like, a week's worth of virgins. The quiet ones get all the, the meek shall inherit the puss, but not its mineral rights. Playing rugby, hooker fails completely at line out. Someone shouts jokingly, does anyone know any good hookers to replace Patrick? Quietest guy on the team. Never hear him say anything. Maybe Patrick's mum can help. Proceed to fall on floor. Edit. Line out. Line in. It's all the same. As an American who knows nothing about rugby I thought you were talking about a prostitute. And was truly confused as to why a hooker was playing rugby. They're people too. Alright. It's $80 an hour. What do you want to do with me? Wink. We need even teams for rugby. So this one kid, who barely ever said two words, one day, asks the teacher for the time. It was at some after school thing and there was no clock. The teacher says the classic time for you to get a watch, which for some reason was funny to everyone else. The quiet kid doesn't laugh, he looks the teacher dead in the eyes, and once everyone quieted down, he says so are you gonna tell me the yuck in time, 
Or what? We were in like, 7th grade. Can't blame him. Can't tell you how many times I've heard that stupid joke. Whenever that happens, just say I'd get a watch if I had the time. That's kind of awesome. Edit. It makes me sad that this is my most upvoted comment. One of my students hardly said a word all year until a couple weeks ago. I was trying to get a group of talkative ones under control and she had enough. She yells out shut the uck up. I am trying to work you ucking as. Awkward silence followed because I didn't know how to handle the normally studious and quiet one losing it. I was like this in middle school. Not exactly quiet. But I never really socialized except with people right beside me in the form of asking for a pencil. One day the classroom douche happened to be more douche than I could stand for and I stood up out of my seat and yelled at him and sat back down. The entire class fell silent, but he never got that douche again. I yelled over a class of 30 grade 9s playing instruments pretty much as loud as try good, and I'm pretty sure I scared anyone as normally I barely speak above a whisper. This makes sense. The quiet ones, that includes me, usually have an unreal level of patience and ability to mute feelings. They're all bottled up in there. So eventually there will be a snapping point, like the popping of a balloon, and it happens real quick. Then it's gone. Nothing else in the tank. Others are afraid they'll blow up again so they're scared. But they won't blow up again because it took months or years to build up all that energy. But no one else has to know that. Semicolon. An annoying friend. Dylan. Quiet kid you're so fucking stupid sometimes. Dylan. At least I don't suck massive D all the time. My name is Dylan and I used to be quiet. I honestly could have said this. Edit. Hey this is the first time my name has been relevant. Uck yes. Quite what? Oops I meant quiet. This was when I was in my first semester of college two years ago. There was this girl who never said a word. The teacher would ask her questions. She would just not say a word. I can honestly never remember her even making a noise. One day the teacher got upset. He felt like she was ignoring him and that she was being disrespectful so he, like an uh, said did no one teach you how to speak. She stood up, walked up to the whiteboard, grabbed his marker and wrote I am mute. You foolish ucker. Apparently no one ever told the teacher that she had a disability. But she was one bad behind mother ucker for taking his marker out of his hand and writing that lol. She should have told him she had a disability. Well, yeah, actually, the teacher kept asking her questions over and over for some period of time but she never did anything but sit there. She's in college. It's not like it's impossible for her to communicate. Write a note and take it to the teacher at the end of class. Or if she's too embarrassed to do that, send a message through the college's disability office. The teacher should have been informed. But bureaucratic oversight happens when you're dealing with a class of college freshmen and someone refuses to speak up. The fact that they might literally be mute is probably not the go to thought. She should have said it loud and clear. In junior high in the mid 80s the game Trivial Pursuit was all the rage. We played it in math class one day and this kid, Gary, who never said anything at all totally spanked everyone else by answering every single sports related trivia question. He got a lot of attention for it and I believe he walked a little taller after that day. I don't think I ever heard him say anything else, but I did see him sitting on the bleachers at a few sports events. It was the moves. At school. Having just shown me the scope for a, supposedly his, sniper rifle. If the fire alarm ever goes off and you can't find me, don't use the doors as an exit. Well, he was nice enough to warn you. Better to be his friend than his target practice colon. Or see he's a nice guy, giving you a heads up like that. What if we killed everyone with cancer to stop it from spreading? You finally decide to speak and that is what you go with? Jesus fucking Christ. What good are you? You mu duck. R slash shit I ask shunts. There was one girl in my school who I've only ever heard speak once the entire time I knew her. It was during lunch. And two black kids got into a fight. I heard her say, under her breath, fucking niggas. I am her. I was banging you at the time. Oh, you're into that? We were chillin' at a bar in Prague and someone rolled up some hash oil and tobacco and passed it around. The quiet kid hit it and got even quieter. 
20 minutes later some aggressive, growling black metal comes on and out of nowhere he yells, kill your parents, we uckin lost it, he was pretty happy with himself. I think quiet kid just told you why he was quiet. They thought I was joking. I must never smoke anything again. The quiet kid from my grade stood up one day, grabbed a broom, stood on a chair and began trying to swat bees that got inside. One bee landed on the window where quiet kid proceeded to yell die bee die and then swatted and shattered the window. He screeched when it happened and then sat back down. Never heard him speak again. That man is going to Valhalla after a bee related incident. Wow literally this question came at a perfect time. I was just thinking about this and it was by far in sophomore year of high school. This kid was so odd that honestly no one ever really noticed him. But one day he's sitting across from me at a table and he sees this one girl in really tight shorts and goes. God damn I could have my head up her behind for months. It was pretty shocking. This could be weird. Or really weird. Depending on which kind of head he meant. Dude could have worn her like a hat. I'm disappointed you guys didn't fall in love and get married. I didn't want to say this, but we did kiss when I had to move away because of my parents divorcing. That was a year later and I didn't really think much of it until I started high school. That's the furthest we ever got though. And she never said anything around me besides that one event though. Wait so you guys didn't say anything. Just kissed? Sweet story. BTW. I'm happy I'm not black because I would be loud and annoying. She got suspended for two days haha. One day I cut in line at lunch in front of the quiet shy kid. He's all like, hey, I'm all like, what are you gonna do about it? He's all like, I'm gonna rape your daughter. I'm all like, I don't have a daughter. He's all like, I can't wait. I'm all like oh oh. Don't cut in lines. A lesson learned well that day. As an a kid. I had a similar experience, grabbed a pencil off his desk, give that back, or what, I'll rape your sister, I don't have a sister, then I guess I'll have to rape your mother first, I stopped being an at him. Maya is this big while making a circle with her fingers, edit, lots have asked how big it was, it was probably the size of a euro, not too big, not too small, just like Goldilocks is a, I'm sure it was Jewelist right, and no, unfortunately I did not check the Olator cutter out, I've failed you reddit, I'm sorry, I feel like an uh, about this big, how big was the circle, this big, that big, I'll fucking rape you, he said it under his breath when a cute girl walked by, apparently he had a crush on her, that's so act up, did she hear it, that's how he met your mother, quiet kid sneezes, boy behind her, god bless you, her, huh? god isn't real, did she tip her fedora and fly away in a cloud of euphoria, in kindergarten, there was this kid, Donatel, and he never said a word, he was nice enough played games and everything, but completely silent, one day we were looking out the classroom window as a cop drove by, Donatel opens his mouth and says police car, at the time, we were all excited to hear him speak, but looking back, that kid must have had some real dark history. Living in a sewer with three brothers and a talking rat who forces you to do karate all day does that to you. Just sounds like he was a quiet kindergarten student who saw police car to me. This douchebag kid who constantly acts with people was in line with the quiet kid and the quiet kid's friend. The quiet kid is a bit overweight so when he gets up to the lunch lady and gets his chicken nuggets. The douchebag says you don't want extra nuggets big guy. The quiet kid out of nowhere just starts ranting. No I am all set but what are you up to this weekend? You wanna hang out grab some food maybe yuck a bit. I like to be on top and you look like a bottom. What do you say wanna luck tonight? The entire line is dead silent. The douchebag starts getting all pissed off and acting like he's gonna start a fight and the quiet kid says okay fine you can be top baby. The douchebag kid leaves to the entire line laughing the behinds off at his expense. No idea if the quiet kid was gay or he just knew that even jokingly suggesting the douche kid was a homosexual would upset him more than anything. But I do know he left the line with his delicious chicken nuggets and a huge smile on his face. Fucking Trevor Phillips right there. In middle school, the quiet kid, Steven, had an arch rival, Robbie. In class Robbie always seemed to come out on top of their little scuffles. 
Mostly because Steven couldn't really formulate or execute a burn or a comeback. He just rolled over and let Robbie get his insults in until the teacher stepped in. One day I was walking behind Robbie after that class and Steven quietly crept up behind him. Before Robbie could even turn around, he got as close as possible and said, If I was to come into your house and kill you while you were sleeping, I doubt anyone would even notice. Then he disappeared into the darkness of the science hallway. I don't remember the exact words, but that was pretty damn close. I was about 55% shocked, 30% laughing hysterically on the inside, and 15% terrified. Robbie never made fun of old Stevie again. OMG. I know a Robbie and a Steven, and this is exactly how things would go down. Are you from WI, USA? Don't tell Reddit, they'll kill your family for reposts. In class we were studying genetics and one guy was being a real douche and the teacher couldn't get him to shut up. Then after discussing inbreeding and dogs one quiet kid raises his hand and says, So is this likely how Peter, douche, became so fucking retarded? I've got a friend like this. I relate him to a sniper rifle he doesn't make comments like that often. Maybe once every month or two. But every one of them is goddamn glorious. It's an art. Most people would then try to carpet bomb the conversation with forced jokes trying to get the same response. I bet your grandmother got raped at Nanking. Jesus. I was the quiet kid. I go to a private school. So there's a fair share of spoiled, privileged kids. In any case, while most people are pretty nice there's a lot of complaining. Anyways, I was in English class. Which is one of my favorites. Except that I don't really have any friends in the class. I had trained myself to not say anything. Because when I did I was usually met with groans and a chorus of you slash reclaiming for breweries doing it again. The teacher was a nice, young, pretty English major. Who had also gone to a private school so she was used to well behaved kids. To her delight, my class is that. The only negative quality about most of the students is, like I said, complaining about completely inane things. Somewhat early in the year, when she was still under the impression that we were all well behaved, uniform young men and women. During a quiz a random girl decided to start whining about analogies. Understand, this is the kind of class where talking during quizzes is socially acceptable. Because it's understood that no one's cheating. Or dumb enough to cheat by straight up asking people the answer. I had gotten pretty sick of the complaining. So after she finished her rant about analogies, I pulled out an old line from Dave Barry, thus ruining my class's state of grace forever. And that's why I started doing heroin. At the time I thought that would be pretty hilarious, but instead the class just stared at me and the shock teacher couldn't seem to find the words to say. But no one in the class really knew me well, so they had no reason to believe I was joking. I probably would have laughed my behind off at that. Your humor has not gone unappreciated. My younger brother is so perfect that my family always jokes that he's probably a drug dealer. Sometimes when we make references to this in places other than the house people take us seriously. Once while my brother was hanging out with some friends I made an offhand remark about how he had a bad heroin problem. When my brother left the room for a second one of his friends confronted me, very worried, about my brother's supposed heroin problem. I had to explain that the reason I said that is because he's almost definitely not on heroin. My brother is a straight A, Mormon student who is the president of the state FBLA and has scholarships to just about everywhere. You would not believe how many kids just like that go nuts when they get to college. We sat in the classroom in I think 5th grade. My friend had done a PowerPoint presentation about Eminem. He talked about that he lived in a trailer as a young boy, and the quiet, straight A student stands up and says just like you, and asks to use the toilet. No one understood anything of what just happened. We live in North Europe. It's practically no one that lives in a trailer here. My friend didn't. Mum's spaghetti. Knees weak. Arms spaghetti. But on the surface he is calm spaghetti. Our quiet kid was Tommy. Tommy never said anything ever. Out of all the lunches we ate at our table senior year I think Tommy was the only one who never told a story or even added anything to the conversation. He just always sat in the same spot along the wall eating his lunch and laughing occasionally at our jokes. One day we were sitting in the cafeteria eating lunch and sharing stories like we always do. 
My friend Raymond had spent the previous night with a girl named Haley. She was a 2 years younger, but already had a reputation of hooking up with a lot of different guys. So he was telling us everything that went down. Kind of bragging. Even though nobody was really impressed as we were aware of Haley's reputation. Anyways, Raymond gets done telling his story, then proceeds to pull out his sandwich. I think it was some sort of fish. It didn't look very appealing to Raymond or us. So he says this looks disgusting, but I'll give it a try anyways and proceeds to take a bite. In pipes Tommy, is that what you said about Haley last night? Everyone explodes into laughter, drawing the attention of the entire cafeteria. Raymond is just sitting there, mid-bite, stunned, I'm bent over in pain from laughing. Others are on the floor, one guy ran to the bathroom because he thought he was going to puke from laughing. Even Ray had to laugh, I never noticed him laugh. But Tommy had this sly grin on his face the rest of the lunch hour. Perfect setup. Prefect execution. 10 points. Kid, I've never heard you say anything loudly. You need to shout something out quiet kid. What? Kid, shout something. In the middle of a classroom. A full blow high pitched roar is heard. Quiet kid. Christmas. It was a Muslim kid who didn't even celebrate Christmas. What a dude. In class he asked the woman teacher if he could go to the toilet. She sternly replied, you've got two minutes. Richard and Richard says, two minutes? It takes me that long to unravel it. Teacher goes red and everyone loses it. We were having a bullshit elective course and we ran out of stuff to do so we wound up having story time. My friend walks up to the front and starts telling us about how he once got pretty badly injured. Basically he was walking into his friend's house. Slipped on some black ice. Fassa planted on it and his front teeth tore off most of his front lip and broke off. He ran into the house babbling and bleeding. He was like 11 and was missing part of his face so he wasn't 100% coherent at the time. And his friend's mom takes one look, runs into her bedroom, locks the door and doesn't do anything until my friend's dad arrives and starts screaming at her. My friend says he still has no idea why the grown adult woman couldn't handle the situation any better and we all start making guesses and bullshit psychoanalysis. Cue the quiet kid raising his magnificent head and blessing us with enlightenment. Maybe she just needed to finger herself real quick. He started to attack someone in my class with a table when the teacher got a cup of coffee. That was quite something. Wait he attacked another guy with a table that's like a whole new level of pissed off right there. Edit. Apparently tables were rather weapon of choice for a lot of people. Edit 2. RIP my inbox. Also tables seem to be the weapon of choice for like half of reddit. One thing I always say, as a quiet guy, is whenever people are talking about me within earshot they usually say something like, that mix master bone, he just never talks. Then I say, no, but I hear everything. They all just kind of laugh awkwardly, and slither away. I think it's weird how my lack of conversation is such a huge conversation starter. Edit. Spelled my name right. Ducking like and subscribe.